This video is about the two week winter camping trip I did in Canada with Law of the North and Frontier Bushcraft. One of my favourite things to do is to experience remote wilderness in as many different situations as possible. So I booked myself onto a trip to Canada where we would be pulling our toboggans on an expedition for a number of days. This trip was uh, split up into uh, two parts. The first week we were uh, learning winter survival skills, um, learning about the environments that we would be in, as well as making a pair of moccasins that we would be using for the walking part of our trip. Uh, this is the walk in to the property, so we've just been dropped off and we picked up our bags and started to walk to where we would spend the first week. Uh, as we were walking we were having a look around to see what sort of trees we could find and look for animal tracks and sign. Uh, this was the tent that we were going to be staying in for the first week. There were 12 of us on the course. Uh, Hank, their dog, <laughs> who joined us on this adventure. So the tent had two stoves in and 12 people. Here Paul is giving us a demo on how to split wood in snowy conditions. And then the process of starting to chop the firewood. Walking back the first night. First morning cooking breakfast. So the first day we were getting used to walking in our snowshoes and going to go and see what we could find in the local environment. Uh, we saw several uh, animal prints here's some moose prints and then looking to see what other resources were around so this is lavender tea I saw some sign of some woodpeckers and then they come back and drink it what's the time frame like So this, and this is where Dave and Kai live, where we would be based for the first week during our skills learning phase. During the evenings of the first week, we would spend the time in the barn making our leather moccasins. Here are some of the pictures of the process of the moccasin making. And this is our tent in the evening of the second night. The next day we were shown some fire lighting techniques from Paul. And again there's lots of little fine edges. We built a fire to sit round and we melted some snow. Paul showed us a method of using a net to melt snow into a cup. We then built snow graves where we would be spending the night. Today we were going to go out and do some ice fishing on the lake. Uh, Paul showing us how to use the ice auger. So once you've drilled through the hole, you need to clear the snow. 
and then pump it up and down to clear any of the extra ice. And scoop out the remaining ice with a little spoon with holes in it. So it's time to start ice fishing. Now the simple setup, some line wrapped around a piece of wood in a H shape and then it was trying to work out the technique whether to jiggle it a lot, hold it still, move it slightly. Um, as I sat there waiting there was a beautiful sunset behind me. Luckily it wasn't too cold and I didn't need uh, the gloves on all the time. started just twitching the wire, the s twitching the cord with my string and managed to catch a fish. This was my second one, the first one got away, uh, but I did get a, a small pike, so I was quite pleased. Looking back, seeing how everyone else was doing. The next day Dave was showing us how to but, harvest you know, firewood flow, by chopping. So I'm just you know, it's just like a little piece like that. This is a dead tree on his property that he wanted to harvest for the timber. And then we did our ice dip. So we built a large fire to keep us warm and dug a hole in the ice. And then took it in turns to take a dip in the ice water. It's a good experience to do. It helps you to learn to control your breath if you were to fall into the ice. Then after the first week of training, it was time to go on to our expedition phase where we would be pulling our toboggans. During the first week we had made our own leather moccasins. And here we are all setting off on our first day of our expedition. Crossing the first part of the lake. Just admiring the beautiful scenery. We put the rubber spikes on top of the moccasins. Quick tea break. more toboggan pulling. It's amazing how easily the toboggans moved across the ice, barely noticing that you had any weight. It was rather warm and we soon built up a sweat and went down to base layers. Here we had found a beaver dam. Hi was explaining about the lodge. A piece of birch that had been eaten through by beavers. Several wolf prints. Now it was time to start our first portage. So up until this point we've been walking across the lake. Now we had to go up and over the hill. Woodpecker. Here we saw a woodpecker. See it's head moving. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're yeah. Except, 
I'm not cool to see. So this was our first real hill. This was one of the steepest hills that we walked up and we took it in turns to take three people to a toboggan, helping each other to pull it up and over. We would regularly stop and be introduced to new species of trees and plants by Paul and Kai. So here Paul is describing to us about different species in the Pinaceous family. Pines, hemlock, spruces. This would be the location of our first campsite. So we're just starting to set up the tents here for our first night and then straight to work for gathering the firewood. With the three tents and three stoves ran all night, we needed quite a lot of firewood. This is what the inside of the tent looked like. We put some spruce boughs down, the stove, and then an area to sleep. Everyone working hard to gather the firewood that we needed. Later on in the evening, we'd all sit round in the larger tents, telling our stories and eating together. The next morning, we would try and leave no trace, so get rid of all of the spruce boughs that we had brought down and leave it as we found it as everyone packs their toboggans up ready for the next day. Scraping the ice off of the bottom of the toboggan before walking out onto the lake again. a uh, portage this time, this time a longer portage but not as steep, nice and slow and steady. Here the toboggan and took my feet from underneath me, it was one of the first real downhills that we had. Took my feet from underneath me, camera went flying. A quick stop and Kai had noticed some bear paws in the trees which was an interesting thing to come and see. So the claw marks of the bear as it climbs the beech tree to get the nuts. So after our portage, we found a place where we could stop and have another uh, drink and a snack and another beaver lodge. Here we were going to set up snares in order to try and catch the beavers. That's the large beaver, beaver dam. Here I'm breaking a hole through the ice with the ice chisel in order to put the beaver snare inside. You want these to be as open as Here we had found some otter tracks. Yeah, so you know that this otter is not going far. It's got all of its, you know, prints around here. So then it's going to die down and then pop up somewhere else. Before back out, pulling out toboggans across the beautiful lakes. Quick stop for some lunch. With wow, some yeah. bold eagles flying overhead. Some chaga growing on the birch trees. very picturesque icicles forming on the cliff and continuing to portage through a beautiful forest with that low-lying sun. Slightly steeper downhill so it's a good idea to 
hold the back and perform a break. Back out onto the lakes. The going gets easier. Our tent set up for the next night. By now we had got into a good routine. The firewood's being gathered a lot quicker. The tent's being put up a lot easier. Everyone working together. Storing, chopping, gathering. Again, sitting around in the evening, having a communal meal, drying any wet clothes of both of us on the washing line. Setting off the next morning. So we walked out into one of the big lakes where we saw some thick black ice that we could see through. It was pretty eerie to stand on. You thought you were going to fall through, but then you realized it was, it was really thick. Um, evening meal that day. The joy of the toboggan meant we could take uh, the big stoves and we could take a lot of food so we could eat well, and look after ourselves. Being able to split the weights between everybody, everybody taking a portion of a stove or some food or the tent. Coming back down the way we had gone the previous day. Trying to control my uh, toboggan and steer it from the rear. And never did quite get the hang of it. It would tend to veer off and hit trees. Beautiful place to sit and stop and have a bit of a drink. Adding snow to the hot water made the water go further and cooled it down. Checking to see whether we had caught any beavers in our beaver snares. <laughs> James just have a little moment. Yeah. Okay, now everyone's in hate, everyone's in hate. Is there a beaver in the bottom? Unfortunately not this time. Uh, Checking the second one. Uh, no beavers time today. Time for a spot of lunch. Nice place to sit and enjoy. Uh, this was one of the first times that we needed uh, snowshoes. We hadn't had a lot of snow. Uh, our next camp in the woods here. Nice woodland spot. Plenty of firewood. Again, communal meals, a big part of the day. Everyone laughing and joking about adventures. Packing up camp on our final day. Some of the space, some of the days we had spent two days in the same place. This, this was one of them. 
And time to pull our toboggans back. The weather had started to warm up quite a bit now. Um, so we had lost quite a bit of snow and it was not freezing anymore. So there was an awful lot of water lying on the lakes. Uh, it, we'd actually had uh, a bit of rain, which was very unusual for this time of year. And navigating uh, some particularly steep sections. You see the water lay on the lake from the rain and the fact that it had been slightly warmer. Uh, this is our last day walking back towards Dave and Kai's uh, property. Time for tea. We would often stop and drink teas and soups to keep us hydrated along the trip. Thank you, sir. the last stage of our journey. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this footage of my recent um, toboggan expedition to Canada. If you have, please leave a comment and check out some of these other videos which you may also enjoy.